Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. Oscar Wilde Oscar Wilde was born on October 16, 1854 in Dublin, Ireland. He was the second of three children born to Sir William Wilde, a doctor and writer, and Jane Wilde, a poet and supporter of the Irish nationalist movement. Wilde's parents were well-educated and culturally inclined, and they encouraged his love of literature and the arts from an early age. Wilde was born into a time of great social and political change in Ireland, as the country was struggling to establish its own identity. His upbringing and the events of his time would later influence his writing and worldview. We are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Oscar Wilde After completing his secondary education at Port Ora Royal School in Enniskillen, Wilde studied at Trinity College Dublin where he earned a double first-class degree in classics. He then went on to study at Magdalen College, Oxford, where he received a scholarship and excelled academically. While at Oxford, Wilde became interested in the aesthetic movement, which was a cultural and artistic movement that emphasized beauty, art, and individualism. The aesthetic movement rejected Victorian notions of morality, and instead celebrated the pursuit of beauty and personal expression. Wilde incorporated the aesthetic movement's principles into his writing and personal style. He was known for his flamboyant clothing and his commitment to living an aesthetically pleasing life. Despite his success as a writer, Wilde struggled with debt and financial difficulties throughout his career due to his lavish lifestyle. Let me be surrounded by luxury, I can do without the necessities. Oscar Wilde After graduating from Oxford, Wilde moved to London to begin his career as a writer and poet. He quickly made a name for himself in literary circles, and his first book of poetry, Poems, was published in 1881 to positive reviews. In the years that followed, Wilde published several more volumes of poetry and wrote a number of plays, including The Duchess of Padua, and Vera, or The Nihilists. You can never be overdressed or overeducated. Oscar Wilde in 1890, Wilde wrote his most famous novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray. The Picture of Dorian Gray tells the story of Dorian Gray, a young man who is unusually handsome and is admired by everyone who meets him. One day, Dorian makes a wish that only his portrait will age and that he will remain young and beautiful forever. His wish is granted, and Dorian embarks on a life of hedonism and excess, believing that he can live without consequences. However, over time, Dorian's soul becomes corrupt and he becomes increasingly selfish and ruthless. The book was controversial at the time of its publication due to its themes of hedonism and morality, but it has since become one of Wilde's most enduring works. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. Oscar Wilde Another famous work of Oscar Wilde is The Importance of Being Earnest, that was first produced in 1895. It is a comedy of manners that satirizes the social conventions and moral hypocrisy of the Victorian era. The play centers around two young men, Algernon and Jack, who are both pretending to be someone they are not in order to win the love of the women they desire. The play is known for its humorous observations about society. Most people are other people. Their thoughts are someone else's opinions, their lives a mimicry, their passions a quotation. Oscar Wilde Oscar Wilde was known for his literary style, which was characterized by wit, irony, and a sophisticated use of language. Many of his most memorable quotes and observations have become part of popular culture. His writing was often marked by an extravagant use of language, and he was known for his use of paradox and contradiction to provoke thought. Nowadays people know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Oscar Wilde Oscar Wilde wrote and published his work during the late Victorian era, a time of great social and cultural change in the United Kingdom. The Victorian era was marked by rapid industrialization, urbanization, and the growth of a capitalist economy. It was also a time of great inequality, with a large middle class and a large working class that was often exploited and marginalized. Wilde's writing challenges the rigid social hierarchies and moral hypocrisy of the era. 
Man is least himself when he talks in his own person. Give him a mask, and he will tell you the truth. Oscar Wilde One of the most distinctive features of Wilde's writing was his use of aesthetics, which he believed were the highest form of truth. For Wilde, aesthetics was of great importance, and he believed that art should be appreciated for its beauty rather than for any practical or moral value it may have. His writing often explores the role of beauty in shaping our perceptions and experiences. Those who find ugly meanings in beautiful things are corrupt without being charming. This is a fault. Those who find beautiful meanings in beautiful things are the cultivated. For these there is hope. They are the elect to whom beautiful things mean only beauty. There is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book. Books are well written, or badly written. That is all. Oscar Wilde In 1891, Oscar Wilde married Constance Lloyd, a young woman from a wealthy Irish family. The couple had two children together, Cyril and Vivian. Constance was supportive of Wilde's career as a writer and often helped him with his work. However, the marriage was strained by Wilde's infidelities and his increasing financial problems. Whenever people agree with me, I always feel I must be wrong. Oscar Wilde Wilde was openly homosexual, which was then illegal in the United Kingdom. Wilde's relationships with men are often depicted in his writing, and his work explores themes of desire, love, and sexuality. In The Picture of Dorian Gray, for example, Dorian's relationships with other men are a central part of the plot, and the novel explores the corrupting influence of desire and the dangers of hedonism. The only way to get rid of a temptation is to yield to it. Resist it, and your soul grows sick with longing for the things it has forbidden to itself, with desire for what its monstrous laws have made monstrous and unlawful. Oscar Wilde In 1895, Oscar Wilde was arrested and charged with gross indecency, a crime that was used to prosecute homosexuality at the time. The charges stemmed from Wilde's relationship with Alfred Douglas, the son of the Marquess of Queensbury. The Marquess, who was an outspoken opponent of homosexuality, had accused Wilde of corrupting his son and had publicly denounced him. Wilde sued the Marquess for libel, but the case turned against him when evidence of his homosexuality was presented in court. Wilde was found guilty and sentenced to two years of hard labor, which severely damaged his health. He served his sentence at Reading Jail and was released in 1897. After his release, Wilde fled to France and lived in poverty until his death in 1900 at the age of 46. Death must be so beautiful. To lie in the soft brown earth, with the grasses waving above one's head, and listen to silence. To have no yesterday, and no tomorrow. To forget time, to forgive life, to be at peace. Oscar Wilde Wilde's works continue to be widely read and admired since they contain universal themes and ideas that are still applicable and relatable today. Many of Wilde's works explore themes of love, relationships, identity, and the human condition, which are timeless. In addition, Wilde's works are seen as being ahead of their time, and contain ideas that were ahead of the social and cultural norms of the time in which they were written. Nowadays most people die of a sort of creeping common sense, and discover when it is too late that the only things one never regrets are one's mistakes. Oscar Wilde